Hello, mass lovers. The topic is still number based, as you can see on the board. And today, I am going to discuss um, with you the basic operations of number based system. With this particular example on the board, as you can see, I want to base my discussion, my explanation on addition and subtraction, particularly on this video. And in my next video, I am going to um, also do um, multiplication and division clearly and explicitly. So for those of you that have not subscribed to my channel, I'm saying please click on that subscription button and turn on the notification for you to get great content like this and more. So let's get to it. Now, the first question is on base 2. As you can see, this is 101 base 2 plus 111 base 2. And the second question is um, base 8, as you can see. And the, the operation here is addition and the operation here is um, subtraction. The first question is on base 2 and the second question is on base 9. So basically, numbers in base 2 are zeros and 1. And numbers in base 8 are from 0 to what 7. So the highest number in base 8 is 7. As you can see here, the highest number is 7. And also the highest number in base 9 is 8. So the numbers in base 9 are 0 to what 9. From 0 to what 9. Okay. So basically... What are the rules of addition in binary numbers? So one of the rules of addition in binary number is when you um one base two plus one base two gives you what one zero base two, one zero base two. So it's not like saying you have one plus one and you get a two. Yes, one plus one is two in ordinary term, but in binary is one zero. Okay, so one zero plus one you get a one one in binary number. 1, 1 again plus 1, you get 1, 0, 0. So that's basically 4, right? And the previous one was what? 3, okay? So let's do this one. 1, 0, 1, base 2. And we have 1 down, 1 again, and 1 also base 2. All divided. Now we rule a line down, and we add 1 plus 1, just like I said in the, in the operation. 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is um, 1, 0. 1, 0 in base 2. But in that case, we are going to write 0 and keep 1 outside. Right? So that 0 plus 1 gives us what? 1. Then plus the 1 outside gives us what? Another 1, 0. So we write 0 and still keep 1 outside. Again, 1 plus 1 gives us what? 1, 0. Plus the 1 outside is now what? 1, 1. So this is now... Our answer in base 2 so it's 1100 zero, zero, base 2 very simple very simple all right so the second question is 6 7 5 base 8 and we have 4 6 5 also base 8 so I'm going to rule a line down here like this okay now, in this case, in this case, the base here is 8, right? So whatever, whatever addition we're doing that is above 8, we divide, we divide that number by what 8? Like this is what 5 plus 4 is 9. So what is 9 in base 8? 9 in base 8 is 1 remainder 1. So that's what I mean is um, 9 divide, divided by 8 is what? 9 divided by 8 is 1 remainder 1. Again, you can see 7 here. This is 7 and 6. 7 plus 6 is 13. There is no 13 in base 8. So what we do is we divide 13 um, by 8 or we subtract 8 from 13 and we see the remainder and we write the remainder and we continue. So let's, let's, let's do it. Now 5 plus 4. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9. So 9 in base 8. That is 9 divided by 8 is the same thing as what? 1 remainder 1. So I am going to write what? The remainder. I write the remainder and keep this. So this is the remainder here. We have 1. Now, again, 7 plus 6. 7 plus 6 is 13. Now, 13 plus the remainder is what? 14. Now, 14 divided by 8 is equal to what? Um, 1. Gives us 1. Remainder 6. Gives us 1. Remainder 6. So we are going to write what? The remainder, which is the 6 and keep one again. 
so this is six here six here now finally six plus five six plus five is eleven eleven plus the one that was remaining outside is now what twelve now what is twelve by eight four divided by eight is what um one remainder four one remainder what four that is eight can go into twelve just one with the remainder of what four so we have now since there's no number here again we we'll just since there's no number here again we we'll just um write the one and the remainder of what four so we have one remainder four and this is our answer in base eight that is our answer in what base eight now let's do the subtraction So solution in this in this side. So we have um the first one is one one zero one base two, and the other ones are one as this is one one and one also base two, and we rule a line and put our pressure. Okay. Now the there's something we need to note about this. In this particular case now this is so um a subtraction the very common thing is when you borrow when you borrow now just like the um the just like your uh, decimal subtractions that when you when you borrow you get a 10 and that 10 is added to the number you want it to be added to and you do your so that is you do your your, your additions so that is exactly what we are going to do here so when we subtract this the the number we subtract becomes becomes what when we subtract one right that one becomes b the base which is base two here and likewise this in this case so when we subtract in base nine it becomes what nine right and that nine is added to the number we want it to be added to okay so now one minus one is what zero good we're done with that one now zero minus one zero minus one it cannot so we need to subtract now, if we subtract this one, subtract one from here, so what we have now is what zero here. So that one that we subtract becomes the base, which is what two, and that two is added to, to this one because we want it here. So it's added to so two plus what zero is what two. Two minus one is one. Now here is now zero. Here is now zero. Now zero minus one is what? Uh, it cannot, right? So we need to borrow again. So that means we need to borrow from this one. And we now have zero here. And that the base is now added to this place. So we now have two plus zero. Two plus zero is what two. Two minus one is what one. So this is our answer in base what two. So this is it. That's our answer in base two. So the basic thing is what borrow. So when you borrow, the, um, that one you borrow becomes what the base. And it's added to uh, where you want it to be added to. And you continue your what subtraction okay so the last question which is question number two here is six seven five base nine and we have a um, three we have um eight six and three base nine so we rule our line here like this and put our operation which is minus subtract we need to what borrow so if we borrow from this six seven now seven now becomes what six so if we borrow from what seven we now have six here now that one that we borrow becomes what nine and it's added to this place so nine plus nine plus five nine plus five is fourteen fourteen minus eight is six so we have a six here okay i said nine plus five is 14 14 minus eight is what six okay so here we are left with what six six minus six is what zero now six minus three is what three and we are done with this that is all so thank you guys for watching um i would love you to share the video with your friends and your loved ones and see you in the next video